The Great White Shark The Great White Shark is the ocean's final exam. When people imagine a shark attack, this is the silhouette rising from the deep. The dark shape, the slow ascent, the shift in the water before everything goes violent. Great whites don't sneak. They announce themselves like apex predators with a schedule. Most adults reach 5 to 6 meters and weigh up to 2,000 kilos, about the weight of a compact car. And they carry the full toolkit of shark evolution. A reflective layer behind the retina for better vision, skin covered in drag-reducing denticles, and an electric sense that can detect the heartbeat of a hiding seal. Everything that makes a shark a shark. The teeth, the skin, the eyes, the electric sense, the smell. The great white has all of it turned up. Their jaws hold several rows of teeth, arranged on a conveyor system that never stops producing replacements. Right before it hits, a great white snaps its eyes backward to protect the only vulnerable part of its entire killing machine frame. And here's something odd. Great whites run parts of their body warmer than the water around them. Why that matters, we'll get to later. Great whites hit fast, bite once, and back off. For seals, that hit is fatal. For humans, it is usually a misidentification. An accident from an animal operating at a speed where thinking comes second. Humans taste terrible, but sharks learn that only after the sample. But in the end, you are still food, the only thing that matters. And here's a fact people often forget. Sharks as a group have been around for more than 400 million years. They were ancient before trees existed. You don't stay alive that long by being gentle. Reef sharks. Reef sharks are the ones people actually meet. Black tip, white tip, or gray, they cruise exactly where humans splash around. They grow around one and a half to two meters, the perfect size for shallow water, and the perfect size to make a mistake matter. They live around 15 to 25 years. The issue isn't aggression. Reef sharks don't attack. They overreact. Bad visibility, hunting mode, fish blood, or just an unlucky splash, snap, and then evaluation. Shark skin feels like sandpaper because it is covered in dermal denticles, tiny tooth-like scales that cut drag and boost speed. Touching one the wrong way feels like sliding your hand across a moving belt sander. Shark skin is basically nature's version of do not touch me. They don't sleep the way humans do. Reef sharks drift in slow circles with their eyes open, resting one part of the brain at a time, half asleep, fully reactive, a terrible combination for anyone splashing at the wrong moment. Hammerheads. Hammerheads can reach up to five meters and look bizarre, but that head shape is a cheat code. The wide hammer gives them panoramic vision and amplifies their sense for tiny electric signals. A hammerhead does not find prey. Prey gets located. That strange head isn't just for show. The spread-out electroreceptors let hammerheads track a buried stingray by detecting its heartbeat under the sand. It's running a full system scan and tells it where you are, how you move, and whether you're worth checking twice. Every shark can sense electric fields, but hammerheads run the Deluxe version. Blue Sharks Blue sharks look elegant, almost too graceful to be dangerous. But up close, you notice the huge black eyes and the long, narrow frame built for the endless open ocean. They grow two to three meters with skin that lets them glide through water like a blade through silk. The whole body is optimized for offshore waters. Their eyes have a reflective layer, like a cat's, so they can see in dim water where sunlight barely survives. Their sense of smell is tuned for long distances. A blue can track a scent trail for kilometers following tiny chemical shifts through the open sea. Blues investigate everything. Boats, divers, floating bags, surfboards. If it reflects light or moves oddly, a blue shark wants to know what it is. These sharks aren't aggressive. They're just nosy with teeth. They also live surprisingly long for a slim, fast shark, 20 years or more, which explains why they're so methodical. A blue shark investigates first, decides later, and only causes trouble when curiosity overrides caution. Makos. If blue sharks are fast, makos are the sprinters of the ocean. 
They reach almost 4 meters, weigh around 450 kilos, roughly the weight of a small motorcycle, and move like someone installed a turbocharger. Their muscles run warmer than the surrounding water to keep their muscles permanently primed, which lets them explode into motion. Makos hunt fast prey like tuna and swordfish. When your targets are shaped like missiles, you learn to be fast, strike hard, and make decisions instantly. There is no maybe in a Mako's world. At the surface, a thrashing human looks a lot like a distressed fish, and a Mako hitting maximum speed at 70 km per hour does not run background checks before impact. And again, humans are only the slow food. Mako skin is so effective at reducing drag that engineers studied it for aviation design. Every single denticle points backward like tiny hydrodynamic arrows. Tiger sharks. Tiger sharks are the definition of, I'll eat that. Up to 5 meters long, as heavy as 600 kilos, about the weight of a compact UTV, and absolutely zero hesitation. If it fits, it's a snack. Fish, turtles, dolphins, birds, garbage, boat parts, tiger sharks treat the ocean like an open buffet. Their teeth are optimized for this diet and serrated like saws, perfect for slicing through bone, shell, or anything unlucky enough to be inspected. Because sharks don't replace teeth, they reload. Tiger sharks sit high on global incident lists, not because they stalk humans, but because they sample the world with full bites instead of polite nibbles. When a predator built to dismantle sea turtles mistakes you for something edible, the margin for error disappears fast. Tiger sharks also have one of the broadest menus of any shark species. That flexible diet is a survival strategy millions of years old. In an ocean this unpredictable, the shark that eats everything usually outlives the one that's picky. If the ocean had a try first, ask later policy, the tiger shark wrote it. Bull sharks. Bull sharks look like trouble because they are thick bodies, heavy heads, Dense muscle. Most reach three to three and a half meters, weighing several hundred kilos, roughly the weight of a grand piano that swims straight at you. They are one of the few sharks that move freely between salt water and fresh water. Rivers, estuaries, murky channels. Places where humans think sharks shouldn't be, bull sharks treat like casual shortcuts. Their electroreception is especially sharp in dirty water. When visibility drops to zero, Bull sharks track movement by reading tiny electrical pulses from muscles and heartbeats. They strike from close range, reacting to signals, not shapes. Bull sharks aren't territorial. They just prefer you not to exist in their immediate vicinity. Each bull shark will stay around 20 to 30 years. Oceanic white tip shark. Oceanic white tips are the sharks everyone imagines when a fin cuts the surface. The slow, circling glide. The bright white tips glowing like warning signs. This shark doesn't turn away when you see it. It keeps coming. Most reach three meters, built solid for endless ocean travel. And out in the deep blue, this is the most dangerous shark of all, because it refuses to leave. Throughout history, most open ocean shark fatalities, especially from shipwrecks, came from white tips. They circle debris, rafts, and survivors with patience. That feels almost calculated. No panic, no rush, just slow, quiet evaluation. It knows that you can't escape. Stay curious and see you in the next one.